The sun is setting, the lights are coming on, and it is Party Town Thursday. That's right, we are here at Road Atlanta. We've been coming here for 21 years, and it's where the red dirt meets the asphalt of this iconic track. You can see that little paved area, the horseshoe, the keyhole, got paved back in 2004, and here we are still abusing it, clutch kicking, and taking names. got a rental truck. Yeah, it was wild. But regardless, he's going to try to make up for it right now. Derek Madison coming down the hill. That fuel lap technology is asked Jassy. Dimitri Brutsky, you can see that thing riddled with mud on the side. Never settle. Well, guess what? He's never cleaning that car because he's going to get that thing dirty once again. d Matt's coming into the horseshoe. Into that outside zone. Dials it in. That back left corner. Dimitri Brutsky. You see the S Autosports on the roof. Derek Madison now coming out of the horseshoe. Tight to that outside. That is just a track reference. No touch and go there. Madison is on a tear. Like I said, I feel like he's got to be making up for lost time. If Derek can keep the proximity, that's, that's going to be tight for, uh, for Dimitri. Well, he knows Brutsky is definitely going to bring it. Again, his motto, never settle. Multiple time champion in the Prospect Championship. Derek Madison going for it as well. Here comes Brutsky. Really dialed. You see the posture of that car. You can see it, again, saying never settle, but it is settled. Coming into that outside zone. Two, and then see, so Madison does kind of what Brutsky did. Taking a shallow line, but Brutsky, wide swing. That overhead's going to be really indicative of how far he was off of that inside clip in the horseshoe. And now coming back up the hill, Brutsky. Brutsky, Brutsky gets one vote and two votes. So Brutsky, it is unanimous. Brutsky gets the win. You see those problems, you're going to give a guy some room. Plus, Derek has to shut up before they clutch the line. Yeah. You can keep an eye out, so. All right, so the E-Flex fuel, renewable lubricants, Mazda tricks, Mazda RX-8. He's on those Vicor tires. Talking about Kyle Mohan, this is a buy run. And again, he does need to complete this because he was scheduled and slotted to compete against Connor Shanahan. But Shanahan is competing in the Driftmaster Series. Rudy Hansen there on the right going against Jeff Jones. Again, one of the most fun-loving dudes out here. His documentation of his trips are hysterical. All right, here we go. Evil Auto Works. He's talking about giving out one of those Prisma steering wheels, so be sure to check him out. Jeff Jones, Rudy Hansen comes in ripping down the hill, but overcooks it. You can see him straightening now, trying to compromise to get that grip. And look at I mean, Jeff Jones. That big drift energy coming to us from Southern California, right down the freeway from myself. And Rudy Hansen from Pocatello, Idaho. Those guys have a good time as well. So there we have it. You know, it, it seemed a little bit chaotic. Jeff, Jeff, yeah, exactly. And Jeff had just, he had so much side fight. He was ripping through the course, but with an amazing degree of angle. Here we go, Rudy Hansen. Let's see if he's more comfortable with that fresh air. And yes, he is. Goes past that inside clip. Team Hansen coming up the hill. Now into that outside zone, the rumble strip. Ooh, Rudy Hansen gets short sheeted. He is quite on the inside. That does set him up properly for that inside clip. But that's not exactly where you want to be. Trying to give him the old, the old voodoo there with that side window. Yeah. Jeff Jones gets the win. And the Sunoco vehicle, and there we go. We're right here. here we go, Ben Hobson in that Pennzoil Mustang RTR Spec 5FD. All right, let's see what we got here. The collab vehicle, the collab built engine, the RB Army, and Ben Hobson, he's very familiar with the Ford Mustang, comes in at a second outside zone. Could be a little bit deeper here, but he knows this track. He's drifted here multiple times between Pro Spec and Pro Am. So Hobson dialing in. To happen. Absolutely, and you, you know, I, I think he Hobson ran away with it after the horseshoe, but literal was was definitely full court press. Here we go across the nose of that Ford Mustang goes that S15, the Sunoco vehicle. The three spokes go round now, past that inside clip. Now coming up the hill. Look at that! Talk about power! And literal just runs away with it into that second outside zone. Ben Hobson, he needs to get aggressive here. Ben Hobson on the outside looking in. Let's check that different angle. You can see now both these guys fighting to get in their first 32 of the year. Ryan Literal on the Sunoco collab. RB Army is in 32. Here we go. Let's see him. Federico Sharifo will be, excuse me, Joao Marion will be leading as Federico. 
and the Ferrari 5-9 GTB is coming down the hill. There we go. As far as Joao, you can see Federico. Look at Joao. That car looks really sucked to the ground right now. Looking like a vacuum as Betty comes to that second outside zone. He dabbles with it. Betty takes that really short line. Going into that inside clip. Oh, and he go. Oh, man. Okay, so unfortunately, Betty. Betty flop on the oh man. I don't like Boston. No, I'm not sitting here. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, I know. Whatever, whatever. Let's move on. Here we go. Are there any Italian hockey teams? Well, he's about to uh, go uh, whole five here. Here we go. As Federico Sharifo goes and drops down, and now he he has a he really needs to make up for that going off course, doing some landscaping here, exiting the keyhole. But Joao Barrios, he is twisting the screws on the all Italian machine. You got the Brazilian behind the wheel of the American weapon. And Joao Barrios brings the fire. Joao Barrios unanimously gets the win. Maybe a little bit of mind games here on the start line. I mean, hey, he's gonna play. Uh, he's gonna play Dark Horse, and I say that as it is one model of the Ford Mustang. Here we go, coming into uh, that first inside clip. Look at Vaughn slides in to that inside clip. He is being aggressive, or is he? Might be a scenario. Give himself maybe two runs. Oh! And Haley goes off. Haley overshoots that second inside clip. The mind games might have worked for Vaughn Gaten Jr. as Haley tries to finish it out, regardless of Vaughn's entire of his chase run here, he will have a major advantage. Where, uh, you know, where the commentators, the judges will dictate that. But here we go, Von Gittin Jr. is brand new livery. He's uh, shooting for the moon, he's shooting for the galaxy. Let's see what kind of speed he's got here. Pass that for, oh, look at Haley. He's trying to get after that Ford Mustang, but he comes up, comes a little unglued here. And Von Gittin Jr., the Type S lights, you can see him flowing underneath the car, and it looks like Vaughn Kitt Jr. as Andy Haley shuts it down here for the latter portion of this run, but that side fight on that car, man. Oh, man. Like you said, I think it's mechanical. I, yeah. I think, you know, and... Uh, now it's all about position in the bracket and who you go against. So these guys are guaranteed into the show. Diego Higa initiates with that Speed Hunters kit. Looking good. Shout out to TJ Hunt. Diego Higa transitions. Here now coming up the hill. Here goes Brutsky in that second outside zone. Let's see how they handle it. Higa dialed. I mean, Diego Higa, it seems that he is, he's found his secret sauce. Gosh, this, this course is just so much fun. Oh. The elevation changes. Diego, oh! That's why Brutsky has butt on his car. Yeah, a little Again, more that efficient. line, I'm just saying analogous to like fishing, you know, like, yeah. like pull it closer, pull it, hold, hold it closer to the chest. So Brutsky, we'll see Diego Higa again. That Street Hunters kit looking good. The new livery, and Brutsky, he's got his sick livery too this year. Coming up the hill. Let's see if uh, Diego gets close to proximity. And that was tight. That was really, oh, oh. And there we go, talking about how good the car looks, but bad. War. Look at that, Diego Higa dives in on the inside. That was really well done. The timing there, as unfortunately Diego, he tried to mimic that once again. Here we go. So let's alternate the order here with Mohan and Burkett. So Dan, Rad Dan out front. Rad and she's Supra. I mean, Kyle Mohan, he needs to join the conversation. Slide in those DMs, or better yet, slide into that inside clip. Dan Burkett flying into that second outside zone. I think he knew he needed to step it up. And, and, he, and he is doing that, man. So Dan Burkett. Woo! I mean, this, that, wait, that was, Dan Burkett gets the win. I mean, lights everywhere, man. You can barely see it. It looks 
like uh, looks like a T Swift concert over here. All right, Jeff Jones comes down the hill. Ryan Literal, you can see him being aggressive from the start. You know, this is good practice, but you want to salvage your vehicle for game day. But Jeff Jones, this would be a great momentum push for him. Obviously, for Ryan Literal, and look at that, Ryan tucked in the smoke, Jeff Jones hammering down, and Literal tucked in. Good proximity, but would love to see him mimic that angle more. And that, that first click point in the chase, he kind of straight line, kind of V-lined across it, but right now, you called him a styly boy, so let's see if the styly boy shows up here right now, and I would say definitely so. Look at that massive angle there. I mean, he is parallel parking that thing into that second outside zone. Brings it in and through the horseshoe. I mean, if, if Ryan Literal continues this pace, he's gonna be uh, he's gonna be a showstopper here as Jeff Jones. Jones are literal and Jones gets the win. Of the two top Formula Drift champion. 2010 and 2020. Alright, the Nitto tires go round into that first clip. Transitioning now out of the smoke. Goes Vaughn getting Junior Schwalberry on. These guys both bobbing and weaving. Talk about that boxing match. Look at Vaughn, you can just hear him whack, whack, whack. Just whacking away at that thing like a lumberjack. Into this last inside flip. Sheesh. Yeah. Yeah. That driving prowess from Joao, but now he's going to chase down, like I said, this two time champ. So don't know exactly what Vaughn called the cop timeout for. Joao overkicks it, gets into the grappling, throws it up, grab the machine gun. Big angle there from Vaughn Kid Jr. Oh, he gets into the dirt now, re enters the conversation. Now exit out of the horseshoe. And Joao Barion, he takes out the. I mean, this is sloppy Joe. These guys are absolutely terrorizing this course. Oh. Joao. He overshoots it, that exit. Joao Barion gets one vote and two votes. So Joao Barion. But all right, here we go. Speaking of catching, who's gonna catch the win? Here we go, Diego Higa and Dan Burkett. Diego Higa, he's street hunting right now. Street shark from Brazil. Look at that. Woo! Two great looking cars, got chrome spinning. Into that second outside zone goes Higa. Coming through the smoke. Barely see him. I mean, they are bathing in it. Wow. Bed, bath, and beyond. Holy cow, as Dan Burkett almost goes off course once again. Yeah, and, and like we said, this is just all indicating where you are in our 32 bracket on Saturday. Dan Burkett, let's see if he gets rad right now, but Higa gets almost this. Oh, and Higa! Looks like his transition was late. He gets thrown off. So Higa, who was who was dialed in that in that lead position, now has a major mistake in the chase. Takes out that course indicator that's not a clip, but then, oh, he goes on the wrong side of that inside clip. So Dan Burkett, what an ego boost, a shot in the system for Rat Dan. Here we go, Jeff Jones will lead. Joao Berion, and now transitioning into this first inside clip, Jeff Jones. And look at Joao, like you said, he cuts through that thing like a knife. I mean, the smoke, oh, buddy. Joao, he saw him initiate it, grips up right there in the horseshoe. And two very, I mean, 60, oh, that's it. That's gonna be it for Joao, but we still have that second half. But I'll tell you what, I bet you he calls the comp timeout. Now, so, update on the action, Joao Perion did not make his competition timeout. So, I think that's a good approach. He's gonna, he's gonna, you know, like you said, yeah. he might have a bigger issue, so that day off might help him. But right now, Jeff Jones, he's gotta finish out the uh, the second portion of this battle. And then the Evo Auto Works, Nissan 370Z, Energy Innovations, Big Drift Energy, he is going to the finals against Rad Dan Burkett. All right, who's coming out on top? Who's got the bragging rights here tonight under the lights? Jeff Jones comes down, the Evil Auto Works, Nissan 370Z, Dan Burkett gets into 
Position gets into that pocket, now goes past, just barely taps that inside clip. Knocks it out of the way into that first outside zone. Now coming second, Dan Burkett making a direction. Gets squirrely there, almost gets to the side of Jeff Jones. You can see that lacking that angle. Jeff Jones is again a big bragging rights here for him. Coming back down the hill. Dan Burkett is a little shaken up there in the horseshoe. Yeah, right, Jacob. All right, here we go. So Rad Dan Burkett, he is leading that Rad Industries Mark IV Toyota Super. Now coming down the hill, you can see him on the brakes and the progression now into that inside clip. Jeff taps it once again. I think Jeff is gonna, he might play this a little strategy wise, play it safe. He knows that, you know, Dan Burkett's got an uphill battle here, but I, just as I say that, that ain't safe. That's yeah. risking it for the biscuit, baby. Evil Auto Works, big drift energy. Jeff Jones, one more clip for glory, and I gotta assume that the needle is gonna go the way of Jeff Jones. Finishing third place here, coming to us from Brazil, Diego Higa. Your winner here in our seating brackets is Jeff Jones. Jeff Jones gets the win. There is second place for the Rat Industry Sun X Tool GT Radio Mark IV Supra Rat Dan Burkett. There is your podium here for our k and seating brackets. Thank you so much for joining us here for our k and knockout qualifying and our, our, our k and seating brackets. So there it is. Thank you so much. With that, we bid you adieu. We'll see you tomorrow for our Link Engine Management Pro Spec Championship Round 1 here at the iconic Road Atlanta Type S Road to the Championship presented by AutoZone.